Thanks, Al. Thanks, Richard. Hi, guys. How are you? You good? Anyone, anyone not been to one of these events? Anyone? Just yell out if you haven't been to one of these events. All right. This, this is not like your normal LA event. Okay. This is one of the best nights of the year. This is the only LA event where they do not run out of Diet Coke. Trust me. In fact, at our table, uh, and I, I want to welcome Tim Allen and Jane, who I just met. Give them a round of applause. Uh, and I said, Tim, how, how do you come to being here? He says, we're friends with John and Kelly, and we came last year, and he says, it is literally just the most fun night. This is what the Golden Globes used to be when people really drank. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> But it really is an honour, and congratulations to all the organisers. Uh, I remember way back in the beginning pulling this event together and the week uh, celebrating our two great countries, and it's an extraordinary thing to pull off. And at this time of year where you all know it's pretty crazy, it's fantastic what the organisers have done, and thank you to all the sponsors, and thank you to you guys for all coming. But give a round of applause to those people who organise. It's amazing. And... Deb, Deb and I love coming to this event. I have to say, for me, this is one of these things, one of these nights that I pinch myself because I'm sitting literally next to one of my real, true uh, idols in life, uh, one of the greatest actors in our business and someone who I grew up uh, wanting to emulate, Mr. John Travolta and his beautiful wife, Kelly. I look over my shoulder and there's the incredible another one of my idols Mel Gibson there is and there is a restraining order so I've got to be careful but my boyhood crush and my teenage crush and my adult crush apart from you Deb of course babe Olivia Newton John it's really <laughs> I hope I can get away with that baby but really growing up in Australia there was one name that was beyond idol in a way. And it's fitting tonight we're giving him an icon award. And I'm just going to say one word, hoax. <laughs> now, I grew up watching hoax. Hoax was your everyman. Hoax was the Aussie you wanted to be. I, li I honestly, I swear to God, I said to my father, when I found out Hoax was a, a painter of the Harbour Bridge, that's what I want to be when I grow up, Dad. I'm going to paint the Harbour Bridge. <laughs> my father was a chartered accountant. He was not thrilled with the idea. We all looked up to Hoax. The fact that I am here tonight uh, getting the honour to introduce you, Hoax, um, admittedly I'm getting a significant fee. But apart from that, it means <laughs> a world to me. So many words come to mind when you think of Hoax. Obviously funny. He's honest. He's smart. Talented. Loyal. Ethical. Despite all that, he chose a career in, in show business. But anyway, he's also an icon, ladies and gentlemen. And for me, uh, a mentor. Because Hoax is very laid back. Off the back foot. Looks very casual. Like he's... But behind the scenes, what Hoax has done, for not just for me, but for many Aussies in this room and, and back in Australia and around the world is incredible. He really is one of those people who's a visionary. He, when it comes to the film business, it's unbelievable. He's uncanny. Just tonight he pulled me aside on the red carpet and he goes, Jackman, cash in now, sequel to Les Mis. Do it <laughs> now. More action, right, hoax? More action next time, a little less singing? Done. Okay. Uh, but tonight, Hoax is being honoured by G'day USA for his pioneering work introducing Australia as a destination to tens of millions of Americans. And don't, we all remember it, right? He did that with TV appearances. He did it with his movies, his beloved films. He had so much humour, so much heart. Uh, he did that with his ads for our Tourism Commission that showcased the best of our people, the land down under. And perhaps most of all, he did it thanks for his personality, to his personality. He's just one in a million hoax. His presence, the genuine likability that made in the face of our country and our ambassador of goodwill to the, to the world. It's an amazing career. He's an amazing guy. Just check this out. 